Right now, virtual reality is receiving more hype, but augmented reality is going to be the real game changer. Um, virtual reality is going to have some niche applications, but even the name virtual reality isn't accurate, right? Because basically what virtual reality is, is you have headphones for your eyes and for your ears. Real reality is much more than just eyes and ears, right? It's, it's touch, it's smell, it's movement, it's taste. Now try stimulating all of those things with a computer. And you know, they're working on it. You've got folks developing omnidirectional treadmills that, and, and haptic suits that you can put on that simulate what it's like to be touched. And you even got computers that can simulate um, senses. But, but realistically, come on. Are you really going to strap yourself into, into an omnidirectional treadmill and your haptic suit and your olfactory simulator and your headset every time you want to experience virtual reality? Not likely. It's too complicated. It's too much work. And how, where would you even put that treadmill in your house? So I think that there's certain applications for virtual reality. Um, you know, like for example, if you want to experience a concert live or if you want to see what your hotel room looks like before you go there. And this use case of, of the treadmills and the suits, that could be that could be a, that could lead to a resurgence of, of arcades. But um, I don't think that virtual reality is going to change society the way augmented reality will. So that's why in this course we're going to focus on augmented reality and not on virtual reality.